Today I'm doing a video on uh, replacing these slide bars on the bottoms of my windows. These bars hold the uh, window in the uh, slide shoe, which has a spring on it that uh, slides up and down in the, in the rail on the window. Uh, I have a replacement bar here that uh, will go in there. Uh, these are so bad that I'm going to have to drill the screw out in order to get them out. That one doesn't look too bad there, but it is corroded in and I can't get it out with a screwdriver. This one here is really bad. I've had some worse than this. Uh, they drill out very easily. And uh, over here, you'll see this is what, um, here, if I can find it. <laughs> Here's me. I'm sorry, I'm not really good at this. That's the slide shoe that slides in or helps the window go up and down has a spring in it and so forth and that's what that slide bar fits in so you can tip your window out and remove it from the window frame now we're going to go out and uh, i'll drill these out and replace it with a new one all right we're going to drill this uh, screw head out so we can get that old bar out of there not much to work with here I've done a bunch of these. I think my drill bit's starting to get dull. Standing. Okay, I used a small bit to get a pilot hole started. And I put in a bit that's the size of the screw. And should come right out of there pretty quick now. Now it came out in pieces. That. So we're going to have to clean all the rubbish out of that track. And we should be okay then. side. This one almost should have come out with a screwdriver, but it doesn't want to. So, we'll go ahead and drill this one out too.
blades and these drill bits are getting dull. So much for that drill bit. Got the head off, and the bar should come out now. Needs a little persuasion. There we go. All right, we still got a little piece of that screw in there. out. I know I'm just a, a weekend handy man at home here. I'm no professional so you can see that. But if I can do this, you can too. Probably my wife can do it. I don't know. Probably better than me. Oh, I got that drill set there. Alright. Clean that up a little bit. And we'll go put the new ones in and put it back in the window frame. Okay, uh, those came out a little hard. My, I've taken, I've done 12 of these, and so my drill bit <laughs> I'd used, it was the last window I was doing when I decided to make the video. My drill bits were pretty dull by that time, so make sure you start out with new ones because you're gonna, they're gonna be ruined by the time you get done. I only had one of these come out with the screwdriver, so <laughs> you're gonna have to drill most of them out if they're as bad as mine. All right, so now all you have to do is take your new bar and slide it in the end here with a little luck that'll work a little bit of crud in there I guess okay and then you can line it up with where the old screw was if you can see this little indentation here in the, in the vinyl just line the screw up with that and it should go right in Like I said, I'm not that handy. And if I can do this, so can you. All right, and then we'll do the one on the other side. Same way, let's line it up with the marks. You see these marks? Line it up. I'm shaky. And put it in there, and we're ready, good to go. All right. Okay, so. It's going to go back in the box shoes. That's what uh, has a spring in it that helps your window go up and down and tilt in and out and all that jazz. So put you got to have them uneven like this to get them in and out. You can't have them up even. They won't come out of there. So when you take them out, you tip the window like that so one shoe is lower than the other. So I put the bottom one in and then come down, line up the top one. Pull the bottom one up a little, raise the window, and just like that, good as new. Okay. Okay, one added note. I called those slide bars and, and so forth. They're really a pivot bar, and uh, the thing that it goes into in the, in the frame is called a pivot box. Uh, so, just so you have the right, the right terminology there. If somebody doesn't straighten me out, I'll straighten myself out. Okay. Thanks. Okay, like I said, I'm not perfect, as my shirt says, but I have a freaking great wife, and she really uh, helps me out a lot. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, some of these uh, bars that I took out were, were completely broken off, and the piece was uh, stuck right in the shoe that it goes in in the, in the side of the window frame. And boy, I'll tell you, it was a bear getting that piece of, of metal out of there. Um, I worked at it for quite a while with a Dremel and so forth. I did get them out, but it was a lot of work. You can replace those too. Uh, it's not that big a deal to do. There's videos to show you how to do that. I bought my parts from this company, Swissco. Uh, they're online, swissco.com. 
they have absolutely everything you need to fix windows. And so I'd, I advise you to start out there uh, for your parts. Uh, if you don't know what the part is you need, take a picture of it. And you can post the picture on the website and somebody will get back to you within a day or so and they'll identify your part and tell you what you need to do to fix your window. So uh, use Swissco, they're a great source. And uh, he told me uh, when I talked to him uh, online, he said to try to get those pieces of metal out of the, the box shoe uh, rather than replacing the shoe as long as they were good. Uh, so I did, I worked at it a while and they came out. Uh, but it probably would have been a whole lot less work just to replace the shoe. So this is something that anybody can do. Uh, nearly if I did it, you can do it. And uh, look to Swissco and uh, they'll help you out too. Uh, I couldn't find many videos on uh, doing this online, so I decided to make this video. And don't make too much fun of me. I never made one before. So <laughs> I thought maybe somebody else might want to try this and have the same problem I do, so I hope I help somebody. Thank you.